The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because I'm doing a mini bathroom makeover. <laughs> Can you tell how hyped I am? I shouldn't really have spent the money on this, but I decided that... Okay, so we have had the same sets of towels for a very, very, very long time, okay? Um, one towel, okay, one towel, I have to tell you this story. I paid £25 for this towel, I want to say about 22 years ago. 22? No, it's about the age 20 years ago. So about 20 years ago, my goodness, I can't get my words out today. About 20 years ago, I spent £25 on a towel at Marks and Spencers. It felt ridiculously glamorous, but I had vouchers that had been given to me and I couldn't find anything else. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this black towel. Every woman should have a black towel. You know what I mean, girls? Every woman should have a black towel. Just makes life easier at certain times of the month. So I have this black towel and it's still as fluffy as ever and it's so beautiful. I know £25 for a towel is ridiculous, but oh my goodness, beautiful. Anyway, I haven't spent £25 on towels. But I decided before Christmas, because I'm now working, I bought some new towels and bath mats for the bathroom and on Christmas Eve, put everything in and it was just such a lovely surprise for my daughter and my husband and it was like, wow, it just changes the bathroom. Just adding those different splashes of colour and it just was, the mats were so soft under your feet, it was really lovely. Um, so I decided when those are in the wash, because I chucked every other one out because none of it matched, it was just a mishmash and I don't mind a bit of that, um, but yeah sorry if my everything's a mess behind me on the set the dogs have been sitting so i don't mind a mishmash but you know what i just thought you know what no i want it all to look really nice and pretty and match but when they're in the wash now i've thrown all the other mats away i have nothing to put down so we're kind of like moving mats around to compensate when another one's in the wash and it's like this is ridiculous so i decided to get another set of towels and I'm really excited. So I kind of decided to kind of have a mini bathroom makeover. So I bought more than towels. So I'm going to show you what I got now. I'm going to insert the clip of what the bathroom looks like presently. And after you've seen that, it's just a short clip, don't worry. And I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't say that in a horror film. You won't be right back. You'll end up in the end credits somewhere. Eyes gouged out. No, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Just, just have a look and see what my bathroom's like before. And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on some work in the bathroom it has been that way for 19 years the bathroom I did it 19 years ago um not was it when I moved at this house no, it was a good few years after basically the bathroom wasn't too bad it was possible the rest of the house needed doing the kitchen was atrocious um, it had handmade cabinets in they looked handmade this house is very old um so basically there was lots to do to it i had everything to do to it let's just be honest the only decent thing in it was a boiler and it only had two radiators attached to it one in the bathroom and one in the kitchen so technically i had to put brand new central heating in because i run pipes through the entire house for radiators i rewired the house um half of the, i had to do a lot of work on the roof um and the chimney and the roof at the back i have a chimney removed um a new back wall gates i still haven't replaced the front wall out the front but that's you know we'll get to that i know i've lived here a long time we're gonna get to that i might replace all the windows i had to replaster the walls i had to replace all of the flooring um yeah huge huge undertaking new kitchen everything everything needed to be done in this house i always say that the only decent thing in it was a boiler the boiler lasted a good long time it had rep replaced a couple of years ago sadly but it was around 30 then because it had been in six years before i got the place so it did well it did well anyway stop waffling so i'm going to show you right so this started with one towel i saw this towel and i was like 
oh my goodness, please come into my life. I love it so much. And then it ended up being a whole thing. And 115 pounds later, here we are. So, the first thing that I got, now it's quite large, um, it's 20 pound, but this is what it looks like. I'm hoping you can see. It's just this lovely cream rug and it's got these lovely little embroidered bees. The bees are so cute. And then on it, it just says, be kind. It's so nice. I really, really, really like it. And it's so big as well, because we've got a nice big space in front of the bath. Um, I have a bath with feet, which I absolutely love. It was my dream. It was not the men who <laughs> fitted its dream though, because it's really, really heavy. I paid a thousand pound for this bath. And you're talking about the fact that I did this, what? 20 years ago? No, they did not enjoy the experience. It took three grown men, big strong men, about 25 minutes to get it up the stairs. Yeah. He said to me, well, we're taking it up, but good luck on trying to find somebody to take it back out. And I said, no, it's not leaving. It was an investment piece for me. I'd always wanted a bath with feet. So it was just an investment piece. So, that's not what started, this is not what started it, but this is where it went. I'm wondering if you can guess what the other items are. These are all by um, George Asda. George at Asda, yeah. Okay, so then this is kind of an add-on item, but again, this is not the main item. I got this towel for 10 pounds, it is so soft. Oh, it's just really, really nice. So this is what the towel looks like. It's got bees on it. I love bees. I don't love wasps. I, I was frightened of them, then I got stung by one, and now I'm just, no. I just don't like them. I think they've, I think they've got it in for me, guys. <laughs> so this is the other side of the towel. This is the side that's going to be displayed. Because I've got a thing on the door, a metal thing. God, so technical. <laughs> a holder, and it holds three towels. So it's going to be a towel, this towel folded this way, and then another towel. So, yes. And these are bath sheets, 10 pounds for a bath sheet guys. They're absolutely huge and they're so, so soft. I am still keeping my beautiful Marks and Spencer's very expensive black towel because I still need it at certain times of the month. Plus I've kept an old black one because obviously I color my hair. So when I wash my hair, color can come out of it. So I always use this old black towel for my hair. It's just easier. I don't want to ruin any towels. So that's okay, my Labrador is bothering me. So I got the bath sheet. And then, to match that actually, I did pick up the hand towel, which again was, it's just incredibly soft. I love these, they're so nice. Um, George Asda towels are so lovely. So that's that one, and that one cost four pounds. So again, it's yellow on one side, and then it's white on the other side with the yellow bees. <laughs> She's bugging me. But four pound for a hand towel, I think is really good value. So I got the bath sheet and the hand towel. And then, okay, we're gonna move on to the star of the show. Right, so I saw these bath towels and these bath towels are 14 pounds. That's not cheap. I think 10 pounds is not bad for a decent towel that you know it's gonna last you a, a long time, which they do. Alec got bleach on one of my new towels that I got in December and I'm not happy about it. I'm gonna have to replace it. I know I could fold it so you can't see it, but it kind of disappoints me, so we'll see. Anyway, off topic, I got these towels and they were 14, but they are so worth every penny. They are really nice and soft. And look. I know you're probably thinking, Lisa, what a child. I don't care. I love Disney. I love Disney, I love horror, and I love Harry Potter. And I'm really, really happy with my purchase. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. No. Honestly, I'm not. I love it. Look, it's Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the freaking Pooh. I mean, how could you not love it? He's so pretty. And on the other side, it's white. He's even better on the white side. Look at that happy face. Look, look. Sorry, you can't not love that happy little face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Two of those. There's three of us in this family. Tony actually used like, uh, she uses a terry towel and bathrobe, so she doesn't use towels. So she would, you know, that's what she does. And I have a terry towel and bathrobe, but I still quite like a towel. 
occasionally well most of the time so yeah nice big huge bath sheets I mean look <sighs> I know that doesn't help you because you can't really see but it's really really big I'm really really excited I know you can tell so it's white on one side yellow on the other and actually the yellow of the two not too bad I mean the beige one is a little darker but the idea of it is they're going to be folded yellow side out and then the one in the middle is going to be folded white with the bees on. So I think that'll look quite nice. And then the hand towels, um, I always have like two. So when I got all the blue and green stuff, I got two different hand towels because when one's in the wash, you've got the other one to put out. We go through hand... Well, we, you should be replacing hand towels more frequently than bath towels. I know we bathe every day. So technically, yeah, that should be the same for that. But hand towels are used by three people. My bath towel is just used by me. So I don't mind using it for a couple of weeks before washing. Whereas hand towels, I just think when three people are washing their faces and their hands and all that kind of stuff, and they're constantly doing that, I just think that hand towels should be changed more frequently. Does that make sense? And then on the bath, the, I'm thinking, I normally put it down the side of the bath. I'm thinking I'm gonna hang this quite long with the white side. And then I got a hand towel with Winnie the Pooh on and that's going to hang over the top so you can kind of see the bees and then you can see Winnie the Pooh. It's a whole thing guys, it's a whole thing. <laughs> and I, I normally, I'm not a huge yellow person, I'm just not. But honestly, I love Winnie the Pooh so much. In this family it's really funny because Alec is team Winnie. I mean we all love Winnie, oh, he's so cute. Um, Tony is team Piglet because Piglet's our favourite character and I'm team Eeyore. Eeyore's my favourite character by far. I just love him. Nice day. Probably rain. He's <laughs> such a cheery little animal, isn't he? Um, anyway, I'm just waffling. I'm just excited. So, yeah, that's the other bath towel. And then I picked up some accessories as well. Oh, and I have um, bath mats. So I picked up this. Um, this was 10, I think it was. And this is... A little jar for your toothbrushes that says honey on it. <laughs> no, it's too cute. And you also get in this set the little soap dispenser, which is also super, super cute. It's got a plastic top. I would have liked it if that had been silver as there. Not watching, but you know, I do still think that for £10, silver would have been nice, but there you go. Um, and then I've got two other kind of breakable type things. And considering that DPD had to tape up this box because Asda never taped their boxes up properly and they always arrive open. Um, and it did well for the items, the other two items that I've got not to break. Sorry, I'm talking to you from inside my box. That's not very nice. Right, this, okay. I love it still, but... <laughs> This cost me £6 and I honestly thought for £6 it was going to be bigger. But I'm okay, I can live with it because it's still cute. It is this little plant, fake plant, but I like the leaves on this, I think it's very pretty. Uh, does anybody know what this plant is meant to be? Anybody who does gardening or anything or likes houseplants, what is this plant? Like, it's obviously a replica of another plant. I'd like to get the real thing because we want a plant for our front room. And this little joyous thing was six pound it's a bit pricey but okay it just says be happy and it has got little bees and little poo heads on it and i just wanted to bring a bit of greenery and a bit of different something decorative in the bathroom so i did get that and then the other breakable item i got i thought this was going to be smaller so this is a bit of a shock <laughs> got this cup it's so big so you need a cup to put your brushes in and then you need a cup to like rinse your mouth is it wrong that i kind of like that it's got these like little wing handles it's like super comfortable to like drink with both hands also when you're passing a cup to somebody how great to have two handles because instead of burning your hand trying to grab it and negotiate it two handles I mean, more cups should come with two handles. Does nobody else think that's just like a stroke of genius? Just me, because I'm excited and hyped. Anyway, three pounds something this was. It was cheap. 
that's why I thought it was going to be so small. I thought that's got to be a kid's cup. It's going to be small. It's going to be ideal to sit in between my taps. I can rinse my mouth with it. I'm not sure whether it's going to fit, but I still absolutely love it. So if it doesn't fit, it doesn't matter because I don't honestly care. It's just too cute. Right, now, the last two things in here are bath mats. So I got this one and actually not too bad it doesn't quite match Winnie the Pooh but it's not too far off but it definitely matches the bees and this one's just a plain bath mat I think this was six um so it's quite good because it's not a bad size and I've got another one of these in the green which I got for my bathroom before Christmas and we've washed it and it's stayed super soft it's just really really nice so it's a mustard bath mat and it's got the rubbery back so it doesn't slip really really love it i actually think that i may get another one of these as well and we like a lot of mats down in the bathroom so so soft honestly it feels like it feels like you're hugging a bear it's just so soft i just really love these i think they're just so good for the price and then i got another bath mat i think this might have been 10. i can't quite remember but i will try and link this these down below for you ah guys there was no way I was doing a mini bathroom makeover Winnie the Pooh themed without a Winnie the Pooh bath mat. It's got these little, right, let's talk about these. It's got these little pom-poms. They're not always sewn on the best and they run down the sides. These, I got another bath mat and it had these all the way around. They are so painful to stand on. They're really hard in the middle. And if you stand on it with bare feet, they're so painful. So I removed them from the other bath mat and I think I'm gonna remove them from this. I'm not sure because they're on the outer edges. It depends where I lay this in the bath room. Um, we'll see. But it just has Winnie the Pooh and some flowers on it. And it's so pretty. It's quite a good size. It's actually really big. It's bigger than the other one. And it's super soft. And oh, he's rolling. his nose is all raised up. It's so cute. Right, okay. I'm just going to stop absolutely fangirling over Winnie the Pooh bathroom stuff. And we're going to go and get and put it in place because my husband did a super clean of the bathroom yesterday. He scrubbed between all of the tiles. This top is a victim. <laughs> this was a pink top. And he splodged bleach on it, so then he decided he would tie-dye it instead. I actually prefer it just pink, but, well, at least he tried to save it. Oh my goodness, I still have one more item. I can't believe it. Right, okay. The last item, I paid six for this, and I'm actually really pleased with the quality of it. I haven't found how it fastens. Oh, it's got hoops. I bought a new shower curtain. The one we've got up at the moment, as you've seen in the clip before, is Marilyn Monroe. I've had it forever, and I just think it's nice to change them. They get a bit grotty, don't they? after a while and I just think I'm a just it just doesn't I don't know the black and white matches with the bathroom but I just thought this would be so cute so it's just white with bees on it I've gone bee crazy but I just like the whole idea of this white and yellow it'll be really fresh and springy and summery looking and then the blue and the green is also really nice because the blue and the green is very much my vibe I love like teals and turquoises and blues so I'm really happy that we've got those two different contrasts and even putting the yellow and the teal or the emerald green together would look really nice so I think we can mix and match a lot I'm putting this up and leaving it up and the green going down the green and the yellow and white will look wonderful together too so this was six pounds and I think that's really decent for a shower curtain so I'm gonna go put all of this in my bathroom so that's it for now so you will see me in a minute Okay, oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry. I think I might have had lipstick on my eyebrow the whole time in the first part of this video. I'm not refilming it because it's all in the bathroom now. So here we go. I'm so excited to show you. As you come in, this is what you see. Oh my goodness. I cleared off the side of the bath, put the yellow candle there. The back, this mat. Be kind is down here. The mustard one is here. The layered towels. Nothing has changed on the windowsill. The bee happy plant is here. Just adding a little splash of green. And then this is the sink. <laughs> so that's to rinse your mouth out. That is for the toothbrushes and toothpaste. And that is the hand wash. That looks so good. And then up here, 
Look at this shower curtain, it's really nice. These plastic hooks went over that top of that metal rod perfectly. So now, we had glossy box ribbons holding it before. We can actually open and close it a lot easier now. So that's a lot better. And it's so bright, like the room feels really, you walk in and it feels so bright now. Cause that was so much black and white and it kind of darkened the room. And then the towels on the door. I'm not sure if I'm leaving them like this, but the idea was to have the yellow, then the bees than the yellow, but I've kind of put that one back to front. So white, white, yellow, not sure. I think I may need to change that. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do yellow, white, yellow, yeah. Let me quickly change that. Yes, that's definitely better. That is my super soft dressing gown that I got for my birthday for my mum and dad, I absolutely love it. And I've changed nothing here. So that cabinet has stayed the same. I've just moved my favourite face wash, which I use every night, onto the shelf there. And the other things, the metal thing that was on the side, mine's down the side of there, and his is up here. So it just makes the side of the bath look so clean. I might see if I, I know this is bizarre. Like a Winnie the Pooh bath toy or something to stand on the side, I think it'll look quite nice. But yes, guys, <laughs> look at it. I just think it looks so sunny and bright and really nice in here. All those little accents of yellow. And I love that Be Kind Martin. Oh, look. So cute. Yeah, but I'm gonna say goodbye for now. Let me turn you around. So yeah, <laughs> mini bathroom makeover. I know 115 is not cheap, but for somebody who's not bought towels, I mean, <sighs> I don't think I've bought tiles, towels, guys, in 14 years. So I think I'm due some new ones. People generally change their towels quite regularly. We just had two sets and we just used them and used them and they just got really threadbare. So I think I'm entitled to new towels. And I think that the bathroom looks completely different with all this yellow in. It looks really bright and really sunny and yeah, fresh. And I really like it. And I like that hint of Disney because I love Disney. So that's it for today's video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay.